Hi, my name is Matthew. Welcome to Artisans Interactive Game Dev. Today we're going to do player respawns in Construct 2. Let's jump right in. Okay, let's jump right in. Uh, I have added this project and the content that we're going to be the description box below if you wish to download it. Otherwise, what we've done so far is add a couple of platforms, made them solid, made the player solid, and made the player have a platform of behavior. All right, so let's get on to creating respawn. So we need a way for when our player falls off the map, our player currently um, is destroyed because of the behavior that we added, which is in click on behaviors on the player and we can go behaviors destroy outside of layout. So in other circumstances, for example, if we have our player and our player has health and it loses that health, it also can die. We want a way for the player to respawn at a particular location. So, what we'll need is an object to do that. So, we are going to right click on our screen, go insert new object, and we can choose a sprite, and then we can give it a name. So, I'm going to call it re. Uh, point. There we go. And then we'll go insert. We can choose what I'm gonna here. And if you remember, we get our drawing panel displayed up here. I have already uh, made my images. Feel free to pause the video and make your own. Otherwise, if you have downloaded the project, you will have access to a couple of the images that I'm using. So I will go open and inside my folder, I have a form point, which looks like a lollipop. So open, and there we go. We check there does have a collider and it does have a center point but we are not making it collidable so we'll press close and there's our respawn point awesome so what will happen is our respawn point has a center origin in the middle the respawn point is the same size as our player okay so when our player does respawn they'll respawn right there which is perfect. So for our player, what we need to do is we have a, a we have a thing that triggers. So when the player does die, it's an actual event. So now we can go to our event sheet and add a event that we are looking for. Okay, so what we need to do is we create events that we are looking to do an action. The action is the player respawning at the respawn point. So we'll go add event. We will get this text box saying add event. We're going to say hey, player. And the player is on destroyed. So we can type in on destroyed. This is an event that triggers. So when the player is destroyed, we're going to do something. So on destroyed, we're going to add action. And the action that we're adding is L player. Oh no, we're going to tell the respawn point to spawn player. So spawn point. Next. We want you to we can type it up in our text box at the top, or we can scroll down and uh, find it. I prefer to type. So, and the spawn point 
spawn another object next and we'll be presented a couple of options so first we will click on the object that we want to spawn and that will be our player we also have uh, layers so layers are represented down here in our layer panel this is where all the images sit uh, on top of one another um, we will be talking more about layers in a future tutorial and so we'll just leave it currently at zero because we only have one layer and then we also have image point now if when we get around to creating animations for our characters um, we may want our character to start at a certain point of its animation cycle uh, currently we only have one frame of animation so zero is the only frame that we can do so we were like okay that's cool done and now when the player is destroyed spawn point spawns the player let's check that out I'll press play and bing and here's our player moving about we'll jump off screen and there we go we respawn right at the start oh thank you very much thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe don't forget to ring that bell icon and i'll see you in the next video